Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you Docker multi-stage builds. Additionally, I would like to show you how you can run a Rust binary in Alpine or Scratch. If you want to see how, stay tuned. Here I have switched over into Visual Studio Code and you will see the Docker file for our first example. In this example, I'm building a very simple Hello World Rust application, and then I want to run it in my, doc in my Docker container. Uh, as you can see, I'm pulling the image, the Rust image, Slim Buster from Docker Hub. I'm creating a directory. I'm declaring it as the work directory. I'm creating my Rust project, IMCD, or I change directory into my project. I do a build and then I'm running the binary that has resulted from this build command. If we are running this Docker build and building our Docker container, let's see if it works and how large the image actually is. So to do so, I'm running simply a Docker build local directory and I want to tag my image as Rust base and I'm giving it the version of 1.0. I will hit enter and I apologize that it dropped off the screen a little bit but the build was successful. I will clear my screen and if I am now going ahead and I'm running my docker image. So I'm doing a docker run dash ti for interactive mode. Remove the container when the container stops and we called it rust base version 1.0. Let's hit enter and there we go. It prints out hello world exactly as we wanted it. And if I am now taking a look at my image and to do so I can do a simple docker images and then I want to have all images listed that have rust in them or begin with rust and I have hit enter. So this is my slim buster image that I had to pull to build my application and run it. And you see, if I want to build an application and run the application in one container, which I did here as an example, I'm ending up with a 630 megabyte Docker image. That is quite large. Um, this is where multi-stage builds come in. And we will next look at a multi-stage build Docker file and see where the differences are and why it is so much more beneficial to use a multi-stage build to keep our Docker images small and keep other dependencies that we, for example, need for the build and so forth out of that image. Here I have switched uh, to the multi-stage Docker file. I had to rename them. I didn't think you wanted to see how I rename files. So I did that real quick and now I have my Docker file here and this is a multi-stage build. So let's walk through it. We do have our first part or stage one or stage zero it would be. Um, and then we have a second stage here. So what uh, we're doing is we're using our first stage, the part that I currently have highlighted to build the application and then we're using our second stage down here to actually run the application. Um, you can give your build stages here an alias. In my case, I call it build. You can call it builder. You can call it whatever you would like. You can call it Joe. Um, it doesn't really matter as long as it is unique. So what happens here is, is I'm still pulling my Rust Slim Buster Docker image. Uh, and then I'm still creating my directory. I'm making it by declaring it as my work directory. I am going ahead and I'm uh, creating my Rust project. I'm changing directories into my Rust project. I'm doing a build. And then I am saying I want to pull the Debian Buster Slim Docker image. I'm also creating a directory in here. I'm declaring my work directory. And then this is the important line where I am now copying from my first container where I did my build. So here I'm saying from build stage in this case here. And I want to copy from the directory there app hello world target debug hello world 
into Debian's app directory that I've created here. This is the important line when you're using a multi-stage build that you can tell it from this stage I want to copy from this directory in this container to this directory in this container. And then I'm doing my command to run the application. So let's go ahead and build this Docker container and see if this works. Here I've cleared my screen and now we can do a Docker build from the local directory where my Docker file resides. And I want to tag this at rust underscore ms for multi-stage. And I'm giving it also the version 1.0. So let's hit enter and it builds it. And I will move this up so I can show you how it actually goes through in the build process. You see here in step one of nine, it pulled the Rust Slim Buster. It created my directory. It's declared the work directory. It uh, ran my commands. And then here you see it switched to the Debian part. Let me call it for like a better terms. And then here you see our copy from our stage one or stage zero for that matter from the build stage and it moved it over so let me clear my screen and if we now do an a docker run interactive mode remove when the docker container stops rust underscore ms version 1.0 and there's our hello world again and if i'm now doing a docker images rust asterisk and I hit enter you'll see we all of a sudden are down to only 72.9 megabytes so we were able by using a multi-stage build only we were able to reduce our image size by a significant amount by about 550 ish megabytes so that's quite drastic so we can go even smaller this is getting a little bit more Rust specific. Um, if you're interested, stay tuned um, and uh, you will see how we can make it even smaller um, and run actually our Rust application in an Alpine container. I have again done some renaming here. Here's a new Docker file and in this Docker file we will tag our Rust application and actually run it in an Alpine container. Um, the reason why this is a little bit more specific is that when you build your binary with uh, Rust, there is some dependencies that it still does need in order to run. And in order to build a um, static binary that you can just literally take and copy over, for example, into an Alpine Docker container, you would need to use the uh, Rust uh, Muscle Builder. Um, you can download this or get this image from Docker Hub. Um, it is fairly popular, the one from eKid here, and um, it works quite well. So um, the changes, the main changes here are that we need to use a different image. Um, we still have in our multi-stage build, our stage one, our build stage here. We are still doing our cargo new hello world. Um, we're changing into the directory. In this case, I did not create a new directory here, no app directory or anything. Um, we do our build. Then we're using Alpine Latest. I run an update. I created an app directory. I switched my work directory to the app directory. And here again, from our build stage, from this path, I want to uh, copy the Hello World static binary into my app directory. And then here I'm just running a command. And this is just executing the app Hello World. Very straightforward, very simple. Let's go ahead and build this image and see how that works. We'll clear my screen again. I will move this up. And we do again a Docker build from our local directory. And we tag this with Rust Alpine version 1.0. Let me hit enter. And then here you see again, um, we let me scoot up here. So we use the eKid Rust Muscle Builder image. Um, we create our project. We build our project. Here we're switching to our Alpine image. And then we're just 
uh, move this up a little bit more now here you can see it um, we are copying from our build stage from this path we are copying into our app directory our hello world static binary on the Chrome screen and let's do a docker run interactive mode remove when container stops and this was rust alpine version 1.0 let me hit enter there is my hello world and if we are now taking a look at our docker images and we're taking a look at our rust images we'll see our rust alpine all of a sudden is down to 11 megabytes 11.3 now granted this is a very simple i guess the simplest of uh, rust applications that you could create just a simple hello world nonetheless it does demonstrate very well using multi-stage builds and picking your images nice or correctly um, that saving here the size that the the decrease in size of the docker image is quite obvious and lastly uh, as an additional info so building this static binary for rust applications um, you can run this actually also in a docker scratch container docker scratch container pretty much is the base container um, there is no operating system or for that matter uh, no alpine no debian no ubuntu there's nothing on it it's literally an empty container and it does allow you to execute binaries so you can use this too and you can literally build your entire docker image from scratch hence the name scratch um, i will demonstrate that next here i went ahead and did some renaming again and this is the docker file um, to build our rust application static binary and then move it into a scratch container so I'm doing exactly the same thing what I did with the Alpine container. This has not changed at all. And the only thing that has changed here is in our run stage or in our final stage where we create our run container. Um, I'm using the scratch Docker image. You cannot pull this, so you cannot do a Docker run scratch, for example. This will not work. Um, you can use the scratch container in a Docker file, and then you can place binaries in it, which we're doing here. And then again, I'm copying from my build stage my hello world static binary onto the root, and then I'm running my command here. Very straightforward, very easy. And let's take a look if this works. Let me clear my screen. And I'm doing a docker build local directory, and we will call this rust scratch version 1.0. Let me hit enter. And then again, our build here completed successfully. Um, we did our build. Here we're using our scratch container we're copying this over and we're saying when we run the container run my hello world binary perfect so let's clear my screen and let's do a docker run interactive mode remove when container stops and we run our rust scratch version 1.0 and there it is hello world that worked and now let's take a look at our docker images the sizes and therefore we just do a docker images rust and wow look at this docker scratch 3.72 megabytes and this is not only applicable to rust this is the demo with rust you can also do this with other languages um, I believe Golang, you can do it. Uh, C, definitely you can do it. So you can use the Scratch container and you can really write some or create some really small Docker images. But this um, is to demonstrate the multi-stage build. Uh, one thing that I would like to note um, as well, outside of um, building your Rust applications or any kind of other applications that you would like to do, um, you can also use more than one stage or two stages here so you're not only bound to this one stage if you have for example a build stage and then you have a test stage and then you want to uh, put it in your run container you can do that as well 
Uh, this concludes the video. I hope you found this helpful and interesting. Um, if you liked it, I'm ha always happy about a thumbs up. Um, if you have any feedback for me, please feel free to leave me a comment. Thank you very much and thank you for watching.